All right, so within there, uh, all the important bits that you need. In this case, we have the magnetic base and the metal plate. That's very tightly attached to that. You can see how strong that is. Put that to one side for the meantime. That's our magnet. We also have in the package our sandpaper and we take our plate and it doesn't matter which side you decide to do but just do one side and we just do a circular motion on the surface right up to the very edge. So then that surface is ready. I would probably give it a good clean with IPA because there's a lot of metal that's been displaced off the surface there and that metal would, could potentially get stuck to the surface of the magnet as well and you don't want that. I'll put that to one side. So the next thing we need to do is attach this to the build plate of the printer. So let's start by removing the existing build plate. First thing we do is to make sure that that surface is perfectly clean because you've been using this in, in your resin for possibly months on end and there's probably a build up of resin that's on there. We want this to be perfectly clean. Now it doesn't matter that the surface is already scuffed up similar to what we've just done on that metal. This glue will adhere to it extremely well. So there's our clean surface. Here's our wham bam. In this case, because it's so small, I can confidently take that entire backing sheet off and start by lining up the edge of that perfectly on the edge there. Now that that edge is perfectly lined up, I can easily just run my thumb across there as I'm lifting up the edge of it till I get to the side of it. And then I squeeze out whatever gums on the back of that, press it down on the surface, make sure it's perfectly flat. And there it is, done. If this was a much larger build plate, I would do the same thing that I would do on the FDM and just peel back a portion of that backing sheet and start on the edge and then slowly peel it back as I'm going. But in this case, it's so small, it really isn't a problem. Let's set it up, basically configuring it for printing. So we've got a, a magnetic plate. We're just gonna line it up as best we can like that. Then we stick it back onto the printer and then we grab our usual Allen key that we would use to loosen up the four screws to loosen up the build plate to allow it to move. All right, so the next thing we need to do is, and this may vary from printer to printer, is to go into the homing option. So we go into manual. This is very similar from printer to printer and we select the home option. Making sure that you've got the build plate completely loose. So now that I've got that in place, I'm holding it down. I'm tightening up the four screws very gently, very slowly. So there you go, the build plate is now homed. The screw positions on the side here are a little bit higher, but everything works fine without any major modifications.